So in this video we're going to calculate the covariance of two items, um, item um, K and item L. So here we use um, K to denote a specific item and also L to, to denote a different item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the covariance of uh, item uh, 4 and 5 for uh, recoded in this case and item 5 and I've already calculated the sums uh, for this item the mean the standard deviation the variance of the sums of squares the variance and the standard deviation so I'm going to be calculating the covariance of these two items so let's go back uh, what we first have to do is calculate uh, in essence uh, 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 the sum of the multiplication of the scores f for uh, a specific person on one item minus the mean of that item uh, multiplied by the score of that same person on the other item minus the mean of that item so let's see how we can do this um, what we need again is is the, the uh, how, do, how do we call this? Let's call this the product. Yeah, I think this is a good name because it's a multiplication. So we're going here to um, have the score of item 4 and we're going to subtract the mean of that item 4 and we're going to fix this one with a dollar sign. I've already showed that in the previous video how to use that. And we're going to multiply that with uh, the score on item 5 minus the mean of item 5 and we also have to fixate that one uh, let's see why isn't this working go back go back yeah and dollar sign and finish that so that is the product the multiplication yeah I think we're done with that the score minus the mean the score minus the mean multiplied and we have to do that for all uh, uh, the answers, for all the, uh, all the subjects, all the persons. So we're going to pull this down again. And now we have all these products. And the only thing left to do now is um, calculate the sum for this one. So we're going to use our trusty sum function again for the uh, covariance... Uh, yeah, okay, let's do this. For the covariance, and we have to use the sum function on the products. There we go. So this is the, s the upper part of the function. And the only thing left to do now is divide that by the uh, total amount of persons, minus 1 and minus 1. So we could just add that. Um, let's go there. We're going to divide it by n. Which one was n? That was here. n. It doesn't matter which one you use because they're just 10 persons. n minus 1. Use the brackets. And we have our covariance. Is that what we had to do here? The covariance. Yes. So, now you try it.